George's first day. In 1789, George Washington became the first president of the United States. What did he do on his first day? Boys and girls, please write your first name, last name, and date at the bottom of your scholastic news. The day George became president. As you read, think about how George felt about being president. A loud morning. George's first day started with a lot of noise. No one had ever been president of the United States before. It was a big deal and people wanted to celebrate. At sunrise, soldiers fired cannons. Then at nine o'clock, church bells all over the city started ringing. Bong, bong, bong. George liked to get up early and that was a good thing. Who could have slept through all that? He got dressed. The suit he put on was brown and plain. George wanted to show that he was a normal person, like everyone else. A historic afternoon. Now, it was time for George's inauguration. At the inauguration, the person elected president promises to lead the country. Every president since George has had an inauguration. He started many traditions that presidents still do. George went to a fancy stone building called Federal Hall. He stepped out onto a balcony over the street. Hundreds of people stood below watching him. Then George said important words called the oath of office. He promised to try to be a good leader. Every president since him has said the same oath. The people on the street cheered and clapped. They loved their new president. George politely bowed to them. Then he went back inside to give his inauguration speech. Every president since him has given inauguration speech. George didn't like to give speeches. His voice was quiet and his hands shook, but he got through it. George may have been nervous, but people liked his speech. Some people were so happy they cried. A bright night. George went home for dinner. He ate all by himself. His family was in Virginia, many miles away. George was probably happy to have some peace and quiet after his busy day. There were many parties that night. George went to a friend's house to watch a grand fireworks show in the night sky. At 10 o'clock, George got in a carriage to go home. He didn't get far. The streets were full of people celebrating, so George got out of the carriage and walked home. Finally, he went to bed. In the morning, he woke up and started his second day as the first president by Blair Rainsford. George wanted to go home to go to bed, but the streets were full of people celebrating him. The President's House says, read the article, then answer the question. So I'm going to read the questions first, then I will read the article. Question one, where did George live when he became president? Mine says click, but I'm assuming yours says circle it. Maybe it says underline. I'm not sure. Uh, so where did George live when he became president? So listen for that when we read the article. Question two, where is the White House? Fill, it, fill in the photo caption. So here's the photo. Here's the photo caption that says the White House is in blank. 
So we're going to listen in the article for where the White House is located, and we're going to write it here on this line. Question three, who was Washington, D.C. named after? Abraham Washington, George Washington, or Martha Washington? So listen as I read the article, and who was Washington, D.C. named after? Abraham Washington, George Washington, or Martha Washington. Question four, what happened in 1790? So we now have to listen for a date, 1790. We need to know what happened. Did George become president? George moved to New York City or Washington DC became a city? Okay, so we have those four questions we are listening for. Where did George live when he became president? Where the White House is located? Who was Washington, D.C. named after? And what happened in 1790? Here we go. The President's House. Today, the President lives in the White House. It's in Washington, D.C. But George Washington didn't live there. Why not? When George became president, the White House hadn't been built yet. Washington, D.C. wasn't even a city yet. George lived in New York City. Washington, D.C. became a city in 1790. It was named after George Washington. Okay. So, where did George live when he became president? Yours either says circle or underline it in the article. Where is the White House? Write the answer on this line. Correct spelling because it's right here. Who was Washington, D.C. named after? Abraham, George, or Martha Washington? And what happened in 1790? George became president, George moved to New York City, or Washington, D.C. became a city. Don't forget to hand this in to finish work when you are done. Don't forget your first name, last name, and date. The life of a George Washington. Long ago, there was a man named George Washington. Hey, boys and girls, we are going to do a George Washington timeline. You're going to cut out the facts about Washington's life and put them in order on the timeline. So we have from the year 1730 to the year 1800 and all of the years in between. And we have, as you can see, just like a clock, we have all of these tick marks 
and they count by tens. So we have 1730, 1740, 1750, 1760, 1770, 1780, 1790, and 1800. Then each of these individual tick marks count by one, okay? So we have five things here that you need to cut out and put in the correct order on the timeline. So in 1732, George is born. In 1759, George marries Martha. In 1799, George dies. In 1789, George becomes our first president. In 1752, George joins the army. Okay, so you're going to cut out the <clears throat> different events you're going to put them in order of the year that they happened and glue them on.